Hello everyone, welcome again in today's quiz. Today's quiz are about the Informatica MDM 10. So let's start. The very first question of today's quiz is which statement is correct regarding security access manager that is SAM. SAM enforces an organization's security policy. SAM security applies primary to users of the third party applications. The hub console has its own security mechanism to authenticate users. All are correct. So choose the correct answers from these options. And the answer is all options are correct. And I think you got the all the correct. Next question, what type of resource present in SAM? private, secure, public, default. So we have to choose what are the types of the resource available in SAM. Answer is private and secure. Next question. Which statement is true about state management enabled base object? Trust is calculated for all records irrespective, irrespective of the record state. Trust is calculated only for records with active state. Trust calculation is ignored for records with delete state. Trust calculation is ignored both for records with delete state and pending state. And answer is trust is calculated for all records irrespective of the record state. If we sub delete record, then what is the value of hub state indicator? Interesting question. Option one is hub state indicator will be zero if so record is sub deleted. Hub state indicator will be minus one or hub state indicator will be minus nine if record is soft deleted. Correct answer is minus one. I think you got the correct answer. Next question. What does the clean match server process do? It's related to the clean match server process. Option one, it handles cleans and match request. It enables the configuration of cleans and match rules. It embeds Informatica data quality in the MDM hub. It creates cleans and match web services. So these are the options available. Choose the correct one. Would you like to see the correct answer? The correct answer is it handles cleans and match requests. I think you got the correct answer. Can we configure process server with HTTPS? Okay. So if you are working on MDM 10.2 or if you're studying for getting certificate on or getting certified on MDM 10 onwards 10.2 or something like that this question might occur the reason is up to 10.2 the HTTPS is enabled in the MDM hub so let's see whether can we use processor with HTTPS or not so depending on the which environment or which uh, MDM you are using for certified so this question will vary the answer if it is 10.2 or 10.2 onwards then it will be answer will be S if it is 10.2 lower like 10.1 or 10 or 9.7 etc the answer will be no so here we are considering the 10.2 onwards as a consider uh, consideration which is not correct regarding landing table. A single landing table could receive data from different source system. A single, oh sorry, a staging table is mapped to only one landing table. Landing table do not have system columns. Delta detection is not a landing table property. And answer is landing table do not have system column. So 
if you read the questions correctly it is saying not correct so landing table has system table a uh, system columns like last update date or source row id those are system generated that is the reason the option landing table does not have system column is wrong next question is it allowed to create multiple staging tables for same source what is your answer option a is yes option b is no choose option wisely if you're if you're chosen yes then you are correct yes we can create multiple staging table for the same source that is possible which feature is supported by informatica data director idd this is a task oriented workflow capability a mechanism for masking information based on security rules localization of lookup display values row level data security so choose options whatever available here so either one of them or the all choices are correct i think you got the correct answer and the correct answer is all choices are correct is it possible to upload dot jpg file for customer photo in idd 360 view option a is yes option b is no if you are using mdm 10 10 onwards so you might know that there is entity 360 available or idd 360 view is available so can we upload a, a jpg file i think you know the correct answer and answer is yes which meta uh, which metadata table is used to track the changes to a base object x oh sorry h x r f that is history x ref his table h c t l table that is history control table h m r g table that is merge of history merge table so choose the options what are the tables available for tracking and final option is all are the correct options and i think you got the correct answer all are correct which metadata table is used to lineage of data X history xref that is hxrf xref table ctl table that is control table vxr table and the correct answer is so the final they are given the all are correct so correct option is history xref and xref which maintains the lineage of data when performing data analysis which one of the following would you look for availability for primary keys which fields can come from the each source data cardinality volumes all the choices are correct so choose your option i think you choose correct option and the correct option is all the choices are correct what are the jobs listed in the batch viewer i i prepared this question specifically because we normally run where is load job stage job those basic jobs we know but there are some other job we actually ignore so sometime maybe question get asked on those batch your job so i thought i should list here and that is the one intention behind this question the job a is accept non match record as a unique job initial index smart search data job key match job match analysis job reset match table job validate foreign key relationship and final option is all of the above so have you ever seen these jobs I think you will definitely go back and see in the MVM hub but the correct answer is all of the above yes all these jobs are available in batch viewer which statement is true regarding GB ID column that is global ID column you can configure only one GB ID column they support int data type 
GBID do not replace raw ID object. MDM hub performs duplicate data verification on GBID column. A separate table for base object is created to track the old and new values. So these are the options about GBID. We have to choose all the correct answers. And the correct answer is it support integer data type. GBID do not replace the raw ID object. A separate table for the base object is created to track the old and new values. Which statement best describes what the tokenization process is used to do? Option A. It prepares a record for addressed standardization. It links parent and child records. It determines the trust score. It creates keys used in the matching process. And the correct answer is it creates keys using the matching process used in the matching process is it possible to generate tokens during load process option a yes option b no i think you know the correct answer the correct answer is yes there is an option we have to enable at the base object level generate tokens on the load which will generate this token so this option it is possible to do that as a part of, of an MDM hub implementation, when may data cleansing be used before data enters the hub during the stage process, when using IDD, when using address doctor for address standardization. So these are the options available. Which one is correct? All of them. Choose option wisely. And the correct answer is during the stage process. Which statements are correct during the subject areas regarding the subject areas? A subject area represents a collection of data that should be treated from a business perspective as a unit. A subject area group has one or more subject areas that share the same primary base object. Relationships with subject areas are based on the relationship that, config, that are configured between base object in IDD. A sibling reference is a relationship from one child record in subject area to another child record within that subject area. So which one is correct regarding subject area? So these are the options available. Choose your option. And the correct option is there are three correct statements regarding the subject area first is subject area represents a collection of data that should be treated from a business perspective as a unit a subject area group has one or more subject areas a sibling reference is a relationship from one child record in a subject area to another child what is table name where user exit code is stored in db so people, few of, uh, few of my colleagues ask me, yes, we have the user exit and that is so stored in the server. But means they were asking me, is it any other location it is getting stored? And I answer the question, yes, it is. And it is stored in the database. So where it is, what is the table name? So options are the user exit code stored in database. First option is say repos custom library. Second option, C repos UE. Third option, C repos user underscore exits. Fourth option, none of the above. The fourth option is definitely not coming because there is a table which stores the user exit. And the correct answer is C repos custom library. Before you can configure IDD, what must be done? A valid operational reference store has been created. A complete data model has been set up. Master data has been loaded. The stage batch job have been completed. So choose your option. And the correct answer is a valid operational reference store has been created. That is the requirement before creating IDD application. Enable search by rules, match rule set primarily is used for with fuzzy match 
base object only apply to ship search match request only when the search match request has a match type parameter of both cannot use any exact match column in the rule and the answer is so choose your option wisely the correct answer is with fuzzy match base object only it is also applied to save search match request cannot use any exact match column in the rules so these are the options means with search by enable search by rule is used so it is used with the fuzzy match rule base object applied to save search match request and cannot use any exact match column in the rule then and then it will be applicable what are the search level available in the mdm match process narrow typical exhaustive extreme loose what is the correct answer the correct answer is narrow typical exhaustive and extreme loose is not a search level and these are the today's questions i hope you like this uh, quiz if you have any questions queries about this quiz or any other talk topic about the mdm you can mention in the comment section of this video thank you again and have a nice time